What's up guys, we are still updating you what is going on, what is trending in Nigeria. Greetings to you, wherever you are. Alright, I don't want to waste much of your time. I don't know where to start, but let me begin from somewhere. As I am talking to you, police have declared um, a British national wanted uh, for trying to overthrow uh, Tinubu. I mean, the link and related to the August uh, protest. And then the, the developing story is that those that were arrested, about 10 uh, protesters uh, that was arrested by the police was today. Um, arraigned, today being 2nd of September 2024, was arraigned at the Federal High Court there in Abuja. And then the, one of the charges that was given to them was a treason. You understand? And then the, um, subsequently, uh, the judge had to order their remand in Kuje uh, prison and thereabout. All right. So that is the latest development I have for you. So just like I said, the police high command uh, declared the Andrew Whiney, okay, that is his name, Andrew Whiney, a British national, wanted for allegedly plotting to overthrow the government being led by it said the force has specifically launched a comprehensive investigation on how foreign missionaries and those it described as the subversive element plotted to overthrow a democratically elected government of Nigeria. Okay, uh, the spokesman of the force, Olumuyiwa Adejubi, who disclosed this at the force headquarters, Abuja said the British rented a space at the labor house Abuja for an Ivor Valley bookshop and established Stars of Nation schools as a cover for his subversive activity. You remember uh, some time ago when the police, uh, when they raided the labor house and then a lot of people kicked against that uh, over this uh, end bad government uh, protest. Uh, they read that uh, bookshop in Labor House. You guys remember the story, all right? So, according to uh, the Assistant Commissioner of Police, he told journalists that the documentary evidence and confession revealed that Andrew Whiney issued directive and monitored progress of that August protest. And then the senior police officer also added that the foreigner provided finance and operational guidance to achieve unconstitutional regime change in Nigeria, all right? So that is the latest update I have for you. Well, Nigerians, we didn't know all this, that somebody, a British national, uh, tried to overthrow Tinubu's government. And then I'm trying to wonder, well, how could that be possible? Well, it is the police job, because I told you guys, I don't love talking about issues that are under investigation or issues that are in court. So according to the police, their investigation shows uh, that this uh, whiny, uh, whether Andrew Wine, you understand, or whiny, uh, whatever, so try to overthrow Tinubu's government and was supporting that, um, you know, August uh, protest. And then he was using that uh, bookshop, the bookshop he rented, he kind of rented a space at the labor house, you understand? He was using that space as a kind of cover for the activity. All right, uh, that is the latest update I have for you. Uh, just like I told you guys, I don't know how that would have been possible because the protests, people were protesting about uh, bad government. They were protesting about, uh, you know, hunger in the land. Nobody, no, nobody, will tell us that they are not aware of uh, the suffering. Even Tinibu himself said, fine, he is aware of what Nigerians are going through. But as a matter of time, things will change. So what people were protesting was to end a bad government and also to end hunger. Now, one of the bad government, just like Sarah, they have sued uh, the Senate president and the Speaker House of Rep. Uh, they have sued them to come and explain uh, why they have a running cost. Uh, a senator in about 29 million naira and 
other people 21 million why do they have running costs that amount to 21 million naira 29 million naira you understand and senate don't have the right to declare salary for themselves okay so that was one of the reason uh, why nigerian protested okay this band they are you know living large they are living okay and now they are telling nigerians uh to you know be patient with the government and so on so i believe that could have been one of the issues that trigger that protest and another issue was salary though uh, uh, the government agreed seventy thousand, okay added minimum wage and then the um, nlc had agreed on the minimum wage and then a lot of things so i am trying to imagine the possibility of uh, you know somebody a british national uh, coming into nigeria or uh, trying to overthrow uh, the government well I, I don't think protest is uh, something bad because uh, many people that are in power today protested during good luck jonathan they protested as well so nobody was talking about overthrowing of any government and any other thing during good luck jonathan even the same four subsidy that have been removed was also protested okay was uh, kicked against during good luck jonathan so a lot of things that made uh, people to protest uh, that august was the removal of this poor subsidy because it is making life unbearable for people and then Nigerians was asking the government to bring back subsidy and then the government gave their reason why they cannot bring back the subsidy that subsidy is all a scam you understand and then that is just it so i quickly want to update you uh that the i think 10 protesters uh that was arrested by the police have been the remanded in the kuje prison in abuja and the female one has been sent to one uh, prison like that in nasarawa state well, pending the hearing of the Abel application, that is coming up on September 11, because the defendant the lawyer asked the, the judge to grant them bail or allow them to be remanded in a police custody, but they kicked against it, you understand, had to remand them in a prison custody pending the Abel application on the 11th of this uh, September. Well, it has to do with treason anything i told you guys if the police wants to wicked you if they give any charge that has to do with treason you understand with treason there is no way even if they will give you bail later on just like on the 11th of this september even if they will give you bail the judge it's it's an offense that the judge will not maybe later just you know look into the matter but it is an offense that anyhow anyhow they will put you okay when it comes to offense of terrorism there is no judge will give you bail when it comes to case of a uh, treason no judge will give you bail remember the reason why nlc kicked against uh what the invitation of a uh, joe ajero was because there was a treason uh charges in that the uh, invitation all right and terrorism financing all those one is a charge that will give the police excuse to hold you so the nlc knew about this and then they have to give their solidarity to joe ajero following him to the force headquarter because how can you call our president a terrorism financer and thereabout okay so that is the latest update if you have anything to contribute put it down in the comment section below